by way of an introduction today, I'm playing music of Sibella, my beautiful peace lily. And I'll let her play away in the background. I just want to share some of my earlier notes with you. The music is changing so much, it's becoming so exciting and this is part of my forest camp program and I'm now getting ready to bring all my equipment down into the forest at long last rather than being in the gardens at home and start to share what the forest trees and plants have to offer in the way of music. But I think it's important today that I talk to you a little bit about where we fit into the world today and it's just my slant on things and this is something I presented last year in a talk I was doing and I thought it's most um, appropriate. See most of us have spent years living and functioning in a cocoon of false reality in an existence that was shaped and manipulated by the environment in which we lived or were raised. But as you sit here today with me, there is a profound shift occurring within each and every one of us. It may take hours or even days before the shift really alters your perception of yourself and the world you live in. And when you break free of the cocoon of ignorance, a whole new vista will open for you. Allow yourself to open to the continuous flow of love that is freely circulating around the world at this moment. Now let your love flow into that endless stream and you will be carried by this powerful current into other realities. We all come into this world with a map that displays the path we will follow in this life. This is not a road map as such, but rather a landscape map. We move through our personal world map, sometimes stumbling, often falling, as the way is full of physical and emotional challenges. And within these challenges, we often lose our way. The spiritual self becomes entangled in all sorts of worldly events. We all need a compass. We are born with this compass, but most times we forget which pocket of ourselves we have placed our compass. Now is the time to find your compass and regain knowledge of your true direction. To understand the nature of your life here on earth, cast your net of curiosity and truth seeking very wide and far and you will bring much back into your life. Sometimes so much information and possible direction will overload your capacity to sort through what you have netted to be able to discard most of your trawl and hold on to the treasures that will be revealed. Then you can learn to still your mind to be in the space of no mind, no ego, no physical you, just being in a place of contemplation or meditation. To attain this state only for a moment in time is to reveal the true essence of who you truly are. And this treasure is the ultimate tool in your personal notebook, or toolbook, should I say. And often this treasure will bring you into the company of a true teacher to put you with the one person who will impart the distilled knowledge that you have been waiting to receive. And so this guide will come and, and are helping you on your journey to iron out the creases of your map that have obscured much of what you had to learn and realize. And your teacher will reveal themselves to you when you are ready. I've learned that we all belong to a soul family and I know that your soul family is awaiting your return to the spiritual realms. You all belong in a soul family present in the world with you today. Not always recognizable but nonetheless with you. So some wonderful things to keep in mind. This is just the start of things I want to share with you and this is very much being prompted by being down here in the forest, in the forest camp, and sharing the exquisite moments that I'm experiencing here. Also moments of revelation and 
times of uh, explanation. But coupled with this divine music that I'm playing for you at the moment, which I recorded yesterday with Sibella the Peace Lily, this is amazing and I cannot wait now to get down here in the evenings and spend the night camping out here and playing the music to the forest at night to all the night dwellers in the forest the birds and the insects the little owls and all the trees as they rest at night listening to music and also I'm finding out more and more now about the fact that trees and plants just know so much more about us as humans than we really know about them as trees and plants so watch this space listen to this space I've got so much more to share with you so tenalak tenalak dear dear people I love you all so much and my heart overflows with what I am starting to do and overflows with the knowledge that I can share all this with you so until we meet again go in peace go with love in your heart